I'm going to show you five slides about the test program we did at the University of Nevada, Reno. We tested four straw bale wall assemblies and a house on a shape table. The organization Pakistan Straw Bale and Appropriate Building was the sponsor for this project. So what you see here is one of the four foot long walls. They were all eight feet tall. They were made from earthen plaster construction, straw bales like we make in Pakistan. So they were 12 by 12 inch bales to 24 inches long. They were set on a shake table which was displaced slowly in plane back and forth and they were attached at the very top with a force actuator and right here is a stationary uh, frame. So slowly the shake table was displaced back and forth. The force was measured at the top of the wall and you can go to the next slide. We came up with some graphs of force versus displacement. So three of the walls, the three walls that were four feet long are on this graph. The first wall is here in black, the second is in orange, and the third is in green. These graphs show the energy of the wall that is um, used up during the test, I suppose you could say. If you would actually take and draw um, an outline to this graph, you would get the stiffness. So this would be the stiffness of the wall, represents the stiffness here in the elastic range, and then in the inelastic in range, it starts to stretch and deform. So we get these graphs as we do our tests, and we can tell the strength of the wall from these tests. So up here, the very first wall we tested was about 500 pounds, the second wall was about 600, and the third wall was actually, actually if you look down here, was a little um, unsymmetric in how it tested, but it was about 800. The fourth wall, which was eight feet long, and this was a heavy detailed wall. These three walls were, were three different detailing, a light, a medium, and a heavy. And um, the heavy detailed wall, we also built an eight foot long wall and tested it, and it was about 2,000 pounds, which was a lot lower than we thought it would be. But the top plate attachment failed. Go ahead and go to the next slide. This is a house then we followed up and tested with the heavy detailed wall. This house was 14 feet by 14 feet, and it's sitting on a shake table here. It actually was subjected to the Northridge Canoga Park earthquake uh, simulation. We did eight tests, one after the another. We started at 25%, 50%, did it in 25% increments, up to 200% of this particular uh, ground motion. And the house did extremely well. This house has fishing net reinforcement. There's fishing net that wraps down the wall under the foundation back up. It's attached to the top plates. It has a gravel bank foundation. Here at the bottom, you see a uh, trench that simulates a trench in the ground. So the really cool thing about this test is its foundation was included as part of the test, which I thought was very exciting. Uh, go ahead and go to the next slide. This is after the eighth test. What you can see here at the base is there was a lot of spalling and crushing and delamination <coughs> along the base. Here you can see some, uh, uh, some cracking at the corners, which is uh, represent representing, uh, help me Bruce, the, you know, I'm not thinking of the right word. The shirt. <coughs> yeah. uh, like a bending, a bending failure with these little cracks here at the corner. And uh, the very last slide shows the very back of the house. And you can see the shear cracking on the windows here at the very back. And of course, at the bottom, there's crushing and there's falling. The acceleration of this test was 0.82 times the acceleration of gravity. And that probably doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. But that was double the acceleration of this measured record and about double what they they estimate that the Pakistan, the Kashmir earthquake in Pakistan was double that. And that earthquake killed 86,000 people in 2005, which was the impetus of this work in the first place, was to come up with a low cost, appropriate building solution for developing countries. The reason why I'm showing you these slides is because for the last few months, I've been hard at work on the test report. We did this test in 2008 and 9, and it's been this heavy weight on me and it's 99% done. It's out to my advisory committee. I'm waiting for input from them. So if you go to poxfob.org or NICE, 
nice.org, that test report is going to be available. At nice.org, you can download all of the data, <laughs> all of the photos, and all the videos. Everything is available at nice.org. At poxfob.org, you can watch a video of this test. It shows the 100% uh, test and the 200% test. It's just about three minutes, and it's, it's kind of fun. So check it out, and feel free to ask me any questions afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.